this is gonna be really really epic but first i must thank my uh gifters thank you so much if you donate thank you to shammy113 for donating a nice 300 gold thank you very much we have a, a votnal v you know you can just make like an impossible to pronounce name and donate to me and i'll just still try and pronounce it um for donating me a nice <laughs> <laughs> That's all the donuts we have today. Thank you. Thank you, Votnal. Thank you. You're, you're a legend, man. I'm gonna make sure he knows I appreciate him. You're the man, Votnal. You're the man. You're the man, bro. You're the man. Anyways, so, um, in today's video, we are going to be reviewing every single one of my showcases. I know the intro's kinda long, but I also have a challenge. I'm opening a challenge. Kaboom! New merch sale! So, I made an epic Gundam t-shirt. It's only five Robux. Very cool. But I wouldn't be advertising my merch if there wasn't a twist. Alright. I am going to be giving away 6,000 gold. 1,000 to six people that buy this shirt. Alright. And I will I will, I will, record myself doing it as well. Just to make sure that you guys know I'm doing it. Alright. It's, it's epic guys. And you also get an epic shirt out of it. Look at this thing. It's only five Robux. It's only five Robux. I'm poor. Please. Please. I'm poor. Please. Okay, on to the actual video. So, I'm gonna be showcasing every single one of my save slots, starting with the first one. Mech gang. Really cool walking mech. Uh, it's my mech gang mech, but it walks. Uh, if you wanna know how to do this, I actually made a video on how I did it, so yeah. But that's the first save slot. On to the next one. Nebuzi mecha. This is a very old build, Um, so I made this ages ago. It is the Nebuzi mecha mech. Some of you may recognize this, and the main distinct feature of this mech is that uh, it has a little pet pal, you know, mech pal, and uh, kiwi 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 mecha. This is also a very old mech, uh, Tanku mecha. Yeah, he looks pretty sick. I'm um, very actually, he's actually very simple though. Um, all right. So another distinct feature about this guy is that he one has a exploding cannon and two he has uh, the retractable hand blades and stuff like that very cool um yeah oh oh is this this is what i think it is hold on it's x oh oh <gasps> guys guys i i think this guy has x e x e x e x e x e x e pymon you guys you know him you might love him, besides his TRX arm. So we got Paimon. Uh, yeah, he, this guy is... I think he's 2021. Um, very cool looking mech. And he was my first mech to have actual animations. Uh, but I don't have the key buttons for it anymore. So he's just kind of a... You, just, you, you can press random buttons on the keyboard and see what he does. And he'll, <laughs> he'll lose something, alright. Centro! Despite the name, this is not the Centro tank. Instead, it is my mini Blitz mech. I think... I made a tutorial on him, I'm not sure. I might have done it for, Yeah, I did it for Denial, actually, sorry. Yeah, I did a tutorial for Denial. This guy's pretty cool, though. Um, so let me show you him in action. He, he's got some nice features. Um, just gonna... All right, yep. So he's got very nice movement, uh, besides being extremely heavy. This button is actually the thrusters. Uh, easy to do. And he's got the two Lancer things, which are on his shield. Very nice. And he also has a Beam Saber on his shield, which is also very nice. Saber Athena. This guy's old. I made him when the Pacific Rim movie first came out. The second one. So he's pretty dang old. Um, yeah, uh, Potato Torso. Very iconic. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's Saber Athena. I completely rushed the swords. Um... All the detail is somewhere, I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's cool, he's cool. Not much to him, he's got a jet. We should see him in action, he's got, oh, yeah, I... Neuer. I forgot about this guy, but he's really awesome. Um, I, I should actually make these transparent as well for the new update. But yeah, yeah, he's really good looking. I really like him a lot. Uh, yeah, he looks very good. The legs are heckin' awesome. Yeah, this is one of the mechs I made that I actually like. Um, very nice. Uh, and he has the super secret formula 
of the speed with no flying that people keep asking for every single five seconds. I'll just demonstrate to you. I cannot show you it. It was very complicated, but uh, yeah, you can basically go really fast without, like, without like any thrusters or anything. Just like complete physics and gravity. You just yeah, he's very cool. Um, infinite boost. Yeah, and his wings used to be able to open up, but build a new update kind of, kind of, kind of killed that. But I'll show you it manually. Wow! Super secret mech base. So this thought is actually my walker. Yeah, I made a tutorial on these guys. Um, it actually still works surprisingly uh, somehow. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna test it now and see how it does. Um, it's really cool. Um, so basically how it works, you just hold Q to go. Oh yeah, I also made that, but who cares about that, right? Uh, Q to go forward. You also have to press Z to retract this. And uh, E to go backwards. Uh, very cool little walker. And uh, you could also, you also got your um. Hold on. Uh, your uh down. How do I? <laughs> I don't know how to do it. But these things uh they basically um shoot out. And we got this thing. We got F. That's the thing on that. And we got G. That one. Uh, we got got B. That one, you got V, drops that when he shot it. Or you can do a mortar strike or something. And C, uh, which is the ultimate thrusters! Oh yeah! Alright, uh, next slot. Base. Yeah, I don't think I need to showcase this one. Because I I kind of just did it. No, but, but again? You might be wondering, what? Did I make another mortar? Am I so cool? Do I make another Neuer? Oh my gosh! Is it going to be big and scale? Like, no, it's croc. It's just, it's it's just Croc. I don't I don't know. But I actually have some things to showcase on Croc because I actually updated him. What? I gave him uh, I gave him some new missile launchers. They actually work this time. <laughs> gave him his his six leg finally. I uh, gave him some new chompers, some nice new teeth, very sharp. And I'll show you the interior of Croc in the case. So we got the pallet seat. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> a thrusters, a uh, jet, and this is how he roars. He actually uses a bunch of boat mortars, and he has a skeleton, which may, some of you may not have known. Kaido. Let me show it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Kaido, come on. I don't care about you, boat motor. Go away. Alright. So, I actually made a full tutorial on this guy, so you can actually build this guy, but uh, I basically made Kaido. He looks very, very menacing and scary. His Kaido ness. So I'll just get into it and show you. Come on, get in, thank you. He's basically just like a big worm. Very cool, very nice, I like. Denial tutorial. Yeah, this one isn't the denial tutorial anymore. It's actually a monster. Uh, I was planning on making like a little boss fight. I might do it, but I've kind of given up on it. Might continue, but yeah, so basically, oh, yeah. So he can basically run like that. He's pretty cool. Um, I think it's based from Dauntless, one of the first boss of Dauntless, I think. Yeah, anyways. STRIKE! Yeah, this is my super old Striker Gundam. Um, I made him ages ago. He's very cool. Um, he's got some nice mechanics, I'll show. Um, since we about the update, the button doesn't work anymore, but I'll manually do it for you guys. Um, that and that. So, as you can see, he's very old mechanics, and the wings open up. He's got the floofy poofy icon and the G the Gundam gang, rip Gundam gang. Yeah, and uh, I'll just do the next one. Mecha! This one, I'm pretty sure, is, yeah, the the terraria worm, uh, tapeworm. I did a tutorial on it. Oh, failure has joined. Anyways, E. Emotional damage. Yeah, it's, it's Epion, uh, also Gundam gang, and also has the floofy poofy logo. Um, yeah, it's just Epion with his... Whipping the sword. That's it. Oh, and his wings open up, but we don't care about that. Dance castle. I remember this slot being just like a 
like it would always go from different builds. Right now, it's my Gundam. Uh, I forgot his, <laughs> I forgot his name, but I think it's Clips or something. Got two swords. He's cool and all that. Why is everyone coming? Hi. Oh. Damn. What is this guy eating? Magu magu no me. It's my magma fruit, uh, which I guess I'll just showcase right now. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done it before. I've done the tutorial on the magma floor, which is where this came from. But yeah, I will showcase you the moves right now because I am bored, and that is what bored people do. They do random stuff. All right, magu magu. I'm just gonna. I think you just gotta like that. That. Okay, so to activate it, you gotta do that. Get off of me, Aaron. Failure. So you gotta activate your magma powers. Then you got the floor move, um, which is just magma floor. You've got explosion, which is magma explosion. Then you've got your magma fists, which you click and they will punch whatever is in front of you. And then you've got uh, magma rain, which is one of my favorite moves. Anyways, next build. Naito. This is definitely one of my favorite builds I've done because I actually shaded it. Like, I added, like, cell shading kind of thing. Not really cell shading, but just, yeah, it's, like, painted on shading. Looks cool. I'm going to show you the moves. It actually has abilities and stuff. So, I'm just going to activate both of them. So, this, the first move is a spinning aura, which will destroy anything that's around me. Um, it also has a retractable shield blade. And I'm just going to say all that. It has a slash move that destroys the ground, basically. And it has wings that open up, and the swords in front will also stab whatever's in front of it. Very cool build. I like it. Mochi mochi. Uh, this is the fruit I've been grinding in Grand Piece Online to get forever. I've got, like, Prestige Bag, Tori, and all, every like so many legendaries. No one's accepting my offer. Please, if, I don't, if anyone watches this video, it's mochi. Please. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, onto the moves. Uh, first move is uh, Luffy. No, you're an idiot, son. You're a failure. This is Buzz Cut Mochi. Um, actually has chairs on it, which will pick up enemies. But Aaron is. Oh, <laughs> I got... okay. As you can see, it has chairs. Um, this move is, I think, yeah, it's a big punch. You just, it's Mochi Fist. You just, and you just punch. Uh, this one is Barrage. Uh, mochi Barrage. You just, yeah, build a boat. Pistons don't go fast at all. So just did not work that way. Uh, mochi slap! Die! <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Very cool fruit. Mini Mac Wrestling. Yeah, I actually used uh, Legion North's tutorial on this one, so shout out to that guy. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let me show you. So, this is the one of the, his, his walking mech thing. Um, as you can see, it walks and those come in. Yeah, and it could also, like, smack people. I was gonna make a whole thing about it, but nah. What the? Oh yeah, you can make the god destruction with those. Anyways, uh, Godzilla. Yeah, a lot of you may know this this build. Uh, it's a massive, destructible city with burning Godzilla, which was made by me and my friend. Uh, credits to him was in the original Godzilla video, I think. And yeah, look at this. Oh, fine, whatever. You have got you have a helicopter that can spin, like it would fly around the city. You got a working camera over here. Uh, yeah. Just a massive Godzilla build. And you can just destroy the city. And... <laughs> what well, used to be in this base was a giant like base that helped me survive that date. But I did the, the presentation about Mech Gang to make the sure they don't kill me. Ope Ope no me. Yet another One Piece fruit. Uh, ope Ope no me. My friend's favorite fruit, I think. And yeah, oh yeah, oh, and also two sword style. Uh, I should, I did the tour, uh, sorry, showcase on that. So yeah, you, you just go watch that if you want to see two sword style. I'll showcase Ope though, I guess. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Now, uh, in, in PvP, I can't use Room because it'll destroy the other person's dynamite. It's kind of unfair. But yeah, uh, yeah, this is Room, but I'll just disable that. Actually, I'll, I'll have it enabled actually. Uh, so, you've got uh, the Earth Slam Talked. Very cool move. I like it. You've got Echo Knife or Gamma Knife. I forgot the name. And then you've got the Ultimate, which is just a giant Earth Slam, usually crater in the ground. Yeah, very cool. Um, I like it a lot, actually. Uh, next fruit. <laughs> oh, wait. No, Clone's going to kill me. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this video is just my lag missile. Um, if I hit anyone with it, they are gonna cry, die, and just perish. Yep, it's the Clash Royale missile. Or rocket. And it has one too many wood blocks in there. And basically what you do is you, 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 you throw it, you throw a fire potion at it, and then all the wood bur the wood blocks just it just kills your computer, man. It it's funny, but the negative thing is that it breaks the server. Right now he is frozen, and I can't clear my blocks to continue. Ah! Oh god, I'm clear. Ah! It didn't even it didn't even do anything. Aaron, I'm sorry, my boy. I'm so. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no crap, Aaron. Yeah, it's still loading. I can't load anything. It's still so fucking bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, after that, slime shelf and croc two. It's I got you. I don't think I need to showcase those because you guys, uh, you guys know what they are. I can't even showcase anything. <laughs> Bye.